Hello, Lathrop Village residents. Today we had a wonderful storyteller in Miss Rosie. She transformed into Coretta Scott King. She had everyone in the audience involved in an interactive storytelling of Coretta Scott King's life. How do I feel about portraying these different people is a question I'm often asked. I portray Rosa Parks, Coretta Scott King, Madam C.J. Walker, and uh, Harriet Tubman. Each one of these strong um, African-American women have a story to tell. Most of their stories are not being told in the schools. You don't see a lot of their stories told during Black History Month um, anywhere. And so I feel like my purpose in life is to share these stories as well as to learn something more about each one of these women myself in order to portray them in the light that is fair in the light that people may want to learn more than what I am saying when I perform. I can't show their entire life in, in one hour or 45 minutes. Those 45 minutes, I hope that I'm raising questions in their minds, like what more do I need to know? How was that person when they were younger? What happened to them before they, they died? I want all those questions to be uh, questions in their minds uh, as I'm performing. And when they walk away, walk away knowing that they have learned something new in black history about some very strong African-American women as well as African-American men. So Rosa Parks said what she was supposed to say in the first row of the colored section. Now a white man got on the bus and as he walked to the back of the bus, there wasn't a seat. So the tradition, was, the law was, not tradition, the law was that the first row of colored people had to give up their seat. It was against the law for the colored people to sit in the same row as white people. So the entire row had to get up. The entire row. So, um, <laughs> sir, you need to come and tell the bus driver there aren't any seats for you. There's no seats for me back there. The bus driver looked back and he looked at the first row of colored people. He said, make it light on yourselves and give up your seats. Lady, you have to give up your seat. No, the whole row. The, the whole row. Yes, you have to give up the whole row. And so everybody got up in the row. The gentleman next to Rosa, he got up. And Rosa just sat there. She actually moved over to the window seat. <laughs> Better view, yes. The bus driver sat back down, the, 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 the writer said, um, I still don't have a seat in that row. I still don't have a seat in that row. So you understand the dilemma here, the whole row. Rosa Parks said, well, there's a seat there, but she wasn't going to give up her seat. So the bus driver got up, walked back to Rosa Parks, and said, what do you think you're doing? You're breaking the law. Think, what do you think you're doing? You're breaking the law. Rosa Parks said, I'm tired of you pushing us around. I'm tired of y'all pushing us around. And I'm not giving up my seat. And I am not, not giving up my seat. If you don't get off that seat, I'm going to call the police. The bus driver, the people started yelling at her, get off the bus. Get off, get off the bus. They were, be, they were running late. And so the white man was able to sit down, the bus driver was able to drive off, and Rosa Parks was taken to jail. Rosa Parks went to court. They found her guilty. You can turn around here. They found her guilty, charged her, gave, and she had to pay $10 for the ticket, for the fine, and $4 court costs. All right, $14 right here, you're going back to jail. For many years, we have shown amazing participation. We have something, sometimes given out white brothers the feeling that we like the way we are being treated. B, we come here tonight to be saved from the participation that makes us patrons with anything less than freedom and justice. One of the great glories of democracy is the right to protest for right. If you will protest courteously and yet with dignity, 
and Christian love, we, when the history books are written in future generations, the historians will pause and say, there, li there lived a great people, a black people who interjected new meaning and dignity in the view in the veins of civilization that is our challenge and our overwhelming responsibility. And so that was the beginning of my husband's determination. Rosa Parks didn't have it so easy after that. She lost her job. Our home was threatened to be bombed. Our home was bombed. My husband was arrested a lot of times and a lot of days and nights I was sitting at home praying that he would make it back home. I was afraid for him as much as he was afraid for himself. My husband became very depressed many times, and many times I had to boost his spirit. Freedom Concerts, the story of the struggle, 1955 to 1965. And so I would sing, and I would tell stories in between my songs. Several times I raised over $20,000 doing these concerts, and the money went to the Southern Leadership uh, Congress conference and also went to SNCC and CORE. And so I would also recite one of my favorite poems, Mother to Son by Langston Hughes. Well, son, I'll tell you, life for me ain't been no crystal stair. It's had tacks in it and splinters and boards torn up and places with no carpet on the floor bare. But all the time I's been a-climbing on and reaching landings and turning corners and sometimes going in the dark where there ain't been no light. So boy, don't you turn back. Don't you sit down on the steps cause you finds it kind of hard. Don't you fall now. <laughs> For eyes still going, honey, eyes still climbing. For life, for me, ain't been no crystal stair. I hate that if you weren't here to see this, this was the most powerful, moving uh, storytelling experience that I've ever experienced. And I think that even some of the audience would say that also, but it was a informative, it was very, um, it was powerful. And all I can say again is that we, as residents of Lathrop Village, uh, residents of Oakland County and the state of Michigan, we all need to continue Dr. King's fight, and that is equality for all and love for one another.